Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, um, in Venezuela, uh, which of course is is suffering from um, crippling financial issues, a, a major financial crisis, they Bitcoin mining is becoming quite the rage. Uh, and of course, it's being used to escape the worst effects of a crippling economic and political crisis and runaway inflation. And the IMF says could, it could reach 720% this year. The IMF, yes, uh, the, that is part of the, of the cabal. Now, Venezuela is something of a mining hotspot because the electricity needed to run the power-hungry computers that are used to uh, mine bitcoins and trade them it's almost free, but agents from the state's intelligence service, SEBIN, now they regularly raid buildings when they notice a suspicious surge in electricity usage. If they find machines, they arrest the owners or they try to extort money from this from them. And this is uh, uh, from one Bitcoin fanatic there. Um, folks, it's... On one hand, I, I applaud them for doing this. If you can get free of the system, of the current system, which is squashing you, which is destroying you, and find another way to improve your life and, and better your uh, ways and means of making a living, getting off of a system that is repressive like this, do it. But on the other hand, folks, I mean, while Bitcoin is becoming quite the rage around the world right now, as are other cryptocurrencies, just like with uh, the tangible currencies that you can touch, which are also heavily inflated and backed by nothing. There are many, many inherent dangers. Uh, of course, the man may come if, you're, if they see a surge in electricity. But more importantly, I mean, consider the, the, uh, the fact, not a fact, but consider the notion that Jim has here that the cabal will shut this down. They're going to infect Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies with a virus. That's what I'm concerned about here, folks. Um, this is going to be taken down. This is going to be taken down. This, this is this is cryptocurrencies as wonderful as a lot of uh, a lot of users think they are. This is the this is a huge step toward the mark of the beast in the one world economy, which will be run by the Antichrist. Call me crazy. Call me a fanatic. Call me a fundamentalist. Just don't, folks. Don't call me late for dinner, okay? Because I get hungry. Anyway, folks. On one hand, you can applaud the Venezuelans for do this on the other, doing this. On the other hand, they have got to be careful. And this is going to get taken down. This is going to get taken down around the world to make way for the beast system. Anyway, folks, this is on Yahoo. I'll leave you a link to this so you can check it out. And when it comes to links, folks, uh, I would ask you, please, check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer's Story. Um, when it comes to all these things you see going on around the world, and more importantly, what you don't see going around, on around the world, this piece of fiction right here could be quite an entertaining read for you. If you are a fan of the alternative media, if you don't believe most of what the mainstream news is telling you, if you believe that the deep state is undermining and machinating to destroy not only America, but the entire system as you know it, um, if you're one of those uh, people that they might call a conspiracy theorist, in other words, if you pursue the truth, this is a book for you. Check it out. It's available on Kindle, Kindle Unlimited and paperback. And you can read chapter one for free. It's called Fake News. It's linked down there. Please uh, check it out, folks. And um, check out my music that is linked down there as well. Now, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led. But most importantly, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim. God bless you. See you soon.